He's the beef in this Constructicon sandwich. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class Long Haul. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Long Haul looking all Long Hauly, Constructicon Long Haul from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Transformers. On this side of the box, we have a Devastator and the cool little Devastator symbol up there. On the other side, we have Long Haul again. He's a Voyager class, a class A Voyager, a class A Voyager, a hero, class A Voyager. I'll tell Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have a one sentence bio if that interests you. Warning don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you, and that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have Long Haul, the next of our studio series, Constructicons. And here he is in his vehicle mode, which I think looks pretty good, pretty good. Well, let's get in closer yeah, so we can take a look at the details. You have the front grille there painted. You have the headlights picked out in silver. You got the uh, windshields and the windows there done in blue with some black trim. Get some silver detailing here on the sides. That's a pretty nice molded detail. The big old wheels, black stripe going down the side. I got the back. And there's the top. You can see his hands just kind of hanging out there. But there's the top. There's the bottom. You do have rolling wheels, so it does roll kind of as rolling things should. This wheel is actually kind of stiff on mine, so it kind of doesn't like to, doesn't like to roll. These go just fine, but for some reason this wheel doesn't like to it does spin freely, but for some reason, when I try to actually put it on a surface and make it roll, it doesn't quite want to roll, but anyway. So, there you have that. Then, for comparison, here it is with the Studio Series Voyager Prime. And with Studio Series Voyager Megatron, the battle damage version. Here he is with the original Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class long haul. Let's see how that works out. Give you a little turn around here. Woo! 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 And last but not least, here he is with his fellow Studio Series Constructicon brethren here. So we can see how the team is starting to shape up. So there you go. And that is basically it for the vehicle modem. There are no accessories. What you see is what you get. So yeah, there you have uh, that. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> let's get back here, man. Get back here. So we're going to go into combined mode first and then go into robot mode. So to get him into combined mode, first thing you want to do is untab these back sections right here. You want to come here and pull these sections apart. They just uh, peg in right here. This could be kind of a pain in the butt to get undone, but there you go. Untab that, and once you do that, you want to extend these side panels here, and you want to put the hand back. You see there's a, a post there that goes into the hand. So put that back where it was, and just leave that hanging out there. And undo the other side. Come on, buddy. And there we go. And extend that and we'll just pick that hand back in like so and once you do that you want to come down here and these sections here you just want to swing out a bit and now what you're going to do is you're going to if it hasn't done it for you already untab this assembly here like so and all of this will raise up like that and once you do that, you can take these sections here and just swing them the rest of the way around, like so. And now you want to, what we want to do now. Now, what we want to do is we want to take these sections here and rotate them around. And they will slide back in and it will tab in right up here and also right in here. So there are two tabs that line up. 
So just slide that in and get everything all tabbed in like. And all tabbed in like. And get that all nice and squozen. And there you go. Do the same thing on the other side. Just rotate that around. And slide all of this in. Get that all tabbed in. Up top, at the bottom, like so. And there we go. And that secures all that in place. We take this section here, bring it down. There's this little tab that will lock in right there, like so. That basically makes the heel. And then we just take these wheels here, we just untab them and swing them down, untab, swing it down. And there you go. There you have long hull in his combined mode, and he is just a big old foot. A big old green foot. There you go. That's his combined mode right there. And that's a pretty, that's a pretty sizable foot right there. So, there you go. So now, let's get down to robot mode. Ooh, you can spin the foot, why not? It's like break dancing. But anyway, to get down to robot mode, we're just going to kind of take these sections here, just kind of swing them over to the sides like that. Just bring them down like a click, just kind of gets things out of the way. And we're going to untab these sections here, bring it out, untab, and slide that out like so. We can take this, untab that, bring that up. These wheels you do want to bring forward. You don't want to tab them back in, you're just going to bring them forward. At this point now, we can unpeg the hand, and the arm is just going to swing out to the side like so, and there's a little hooping point for it up top. Then you can bring the arm forward, and rotate that around. We can take the wheel, bring it to the back. There's a little, little notch for this tab to go into, so it just sits right there. And then with this section, you're just going to slide this down, flip that in, rotate this around, and then slide that into the form like so. And these big wheels have a little hinge there, you kind of angle them down a bit. And the second verse, same as the first, you just unpeg, release, release, there we go. And just bring the arm up until you feel a thoop. Bring the arm down and oops, down and around there. Slide this section down, flip that in, rotate that around, collapse that in, you bring that wheel back and tab it in up there, angle it down. And you got that done. And then you just take this section here, this just collapses up onto his back like so. And we got the upper body all done. So now for the lower body, just want to bring his legs the rest of the way down here. I take these hip pieces here and just bring them in. Split the legs. And we're gonna take the wheel here and just bring this around. And that will loop into place right there. Rotate the leg at the knee. Bring down his foot. Then you got a leg all done. Second first, just like the first. Yeah, let's bring that wheel around until you get the soup. Rotate, flip down his toes. And the last thing we do is just turn his head around. And I think we're done. Are we done? I hope we're done. I don't know. I always miss something with these toys now, but it's... There's probably like 15 more steps that they didn't put in the instructions, but hey, you guys know how it works. I don't, for some reason, even though I own the toy and have the instructions, but you know, it is what it is. But I think I got everything. Probably not, but I think I got everything. So there you go. There you have a long haul in his robot mode. And I love this guy. I love this guy. I love just how kind of stocky and just like brutish he is. <laughs> like, he's just cool. He's just so stocky. He's like the, he's like the George Costanza of the Constructicons. Like, I love him. I love him so much. But that's getting close here, so we can take a look at that head sculpt. He's an ugly dude. He's an ugly dude, but I love him nonetheless. Anyway. 
You can see his eyes done in red there. You got some of that dark gray on the head sculpt as well. Let's see, you got some red right there. You got some silver, some nice silver on the torso here. Also some silver on the detail on the arms. Silver right there. And going down the legs, you can see everything is pretty nicely detailed. Got some more details there, picked out in paint. His big old feet. And we we'll the back. You know, he's got the backpack going on there, but not too bad. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you do get a little bit of wiggly waggly. You can look up a little bit, look down a little bit. Head can do a full 360. Uh, arms. Can rotate, of course, those big wheels on his back kind of get out of the way. This is where my tongue stops working. Those big wheels will kind of get in the way of the arm rotation, but you know, the arms will rotate as much as they need to. They can move in and out. Again, things kind of get in the way, and these, these big panels don't help either. But the arms can move in and out. You do have rotation right at the elbow. You have. 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. Uh, nothing at the hands whatsoever, no wrist, no nothing there. Uh, you do have ratcheted waist rotation because this is going to be the uh, the ankle uh, the ankle tilt for combined mode. So that's a nice clickety clackety ratchet. Legs can move forward that far, can move back about that far before things start to get in the way. Outwards. That far, you do have thigh rotation. You do have rotation right below the knee as well. You have 90 degrees of bend at the knee. And as far as the feet go, you know, you have that toe joint there due to transformation. So the toes can move up and you have the ankle tilted. And again, there are no accessories. So what you see is what you get. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Studio Series Voyager Prime. Here he is with Voyager Megs. Here he is with Leader Blackout. And here he is with the original Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Long Haul. And uh, in my opinion, definitely an upgrade. Definitely an upgrade. And lastly, but not leastly, here he is with his Constructicon buddies. And we can see the team shaping up there. So, there you go. And of course, the last thing to talk about is the included base of displayage, which is in the box. Slide it out. Woo. And open it up. And there we have. The Pyramids, Studio Series, 42, Transformers, Devastator, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen. And we can take Mr. Longhaul here and just plop him down. And as always, nice little display if you want to take advantage of it. So there you have Longhaul. Um, I love this guy. I really do. Um, I just love how stocky and bulky he is. You know, very screen accurate too. All around, just a nicely done figure, in my opinion, anyway. So, yeah, three down, five to go. So, there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Studio Series toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Transformers Movie Toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transformers Studio Series of Voyager Class Long Haul. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Oh, this has not been the best day for me. Lord Megatron, whoa! What happened to your face, man? It's, it's a long story. Okay, it's really a short story. I just don't want to get into it right now. Oh, man. That's, that's, that's not pretty. Yeah, 
Mich hat er doch nicht nack, 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 nack. He does. He totally does. Wait. Wait, what did he say? Wait, was he talking about me? Was he? But, you know what? Whatever. Yeah, he always falls for that. Yeah, he's not too bright. From the look of his head, he might only have half a brain left, too.